My name is Amanda and long time no see, right? I've really missed you guys and in this video I won't ramble on why I haven't been making any videos for six months. Is it that, is it that long? Really? But to make a long story short that would be just because I haven't been reading anything and therefore I've basically had nothing to talk about here, so long story short, that's about it. I mean, we'll see what happens after this video. Only time can tell if I will have time to make videos because now started my final year in the IB and it's kind of stressful, but that's not the excuse I want to make because, like I said, the reason is because I haven't been reading anything and therefore I have not, I've had nothing to talk about, literally. But we all know that school requires some reading and uh, I've done some reading during summer. Basically two, three, four books. One that wasn't for school and three that was. To have something to talk about I thought that I would share my thoughts on the books that I have been reading and I just want to start a conversation with you guys because, like I said, I have really, really missed you guys. Let's start with the first book I read this summer that was actually really, really great. I think my last tweet on Twitter was that I was really enjoying this book and that was kind of an understatement because this book, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, is literally amazing. It was so great you guys and I thought that when I read this I would get back into reading like this. That wasn't the case but I read this book really quickly though and I'm sure you all know what it is about. It's a World War II book. It's set in France and in Germany. It follows two characters. One girl that is blind that lives in France and a boy that lives in Germany that is really interested in radios and that sort of thing and it's so amazing. I got so attached to the characters and the language is just so beautiful. Then I picked up two books for school. One that is just my favorite book of all time and that is The Book Thief. It's a, another Second World War book. It's truly amazing. It follows Liesl Memminger in Germany during the Second World War and it's so amazing. I can't stop saying that but if you haven't read it, it's fantastic. It's narrated by death, which is one of my favorite things, but also the characters are just so deep and very well explored. Marcus Zusak's language is just out of this world. Then I picked up another book for school that is a classic and I didn't enjoy it. It was Crime and Punishment by Fyodor, Fyodor? Dostoevsky, anyway, and I wasn't the biggest fan. It was a really huge book. It was I think it's 500, 600 pages something ridiculous and it's really boring. I mean, it starts off quite interestingly with Raskolnikov, the main character, committing a murder but then for the next 400 pages he's just walking around in St. Petersburg, moping around and being mentally confused and I know there's a lot of psychological things and going on with this book and we are I know all of that, but I still don't enjoy it. And I didn't like Roskolnikov at all. I thought he was really not my type of character and that makes it really hard for me to connect to him and enjoy the book. I mean, I'm really glad that I read it since it is such a huge classic in the literary world, but I didn't enjoy it. On top of those three books, I have read this book around a thousand times this summer and this is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, also called The Golden Compass in the United States. I'm sure you all know this book, but it follows Lyra and it's a fantasy book set in a uh, secondary Oxford, basically. I am writing my extended essay on this book, that is why I have a thousand notes and I've read it about a thousand times. And the more I look into this book, the more I like it. I mean, Pullman's language is so rich and so amazing, so if you have not picked up the series yet, you should definitely do that because it is a staple. And on to the last book that I'm reading that I'm not enjoying at all. It really sucks, but I have to read it for school. I should have been done with it days ago, but I just can't get through it. And it is The Tin Drum by Günther Gross. And this is another Second World War book set in Germany. This is translated from German, actually. And it follows Oscar, a really annoying little three-year-old boy. He is 
stuck in his three-year-old body, stopped growing when he was three, but his intellect is of course growing as a normal child, but he has his tindrum, he's just really annoying and I don't like him and uh, I haven't gotten that far unfortunately, but it's really dense and I don't like it, but I will fight my way through it and then we'll see what happens, maybe it gets better or maybe not. And that was all the books that I've read this summer, uh, one, two, three, four, four and a half books. I mean, it's not something to brag about, definitely not, but hopefully I can get back into the habit of reading again because I do really miss it, but it's just daunting to having to get through the Tindrum first because I don't like it at all. And then I have Jane Eyre to read after that, so there's not much room for reading for fun anymore, which makes me really sad. Hopefully I will have something to talk to you guys about because I really miss talking to you in the comment section, talking to you through videos and talking to you on Twitter, Goodreads and hopefully I will really try to get back into doing that because I really miss you guys, I really miss I really miss this whole community. Now I have one request of you guys and that would be if you would tell me something about all the new books that have come out lately, what I should be picking up because I haven't been watching any booktube videos for the entire summer and I have no idea what's hot and what's new and what's come out recently, what's coming up and you who have followed my channel for quite a while, you know what I like so I would it would mean the world to me if you wanted to just drop a few titles in the comment section that I could check out because I mean maybe just buying some new books would really get me back into a reading mood hopefully. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up I really miss you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!